guys, welcome to the Mama Lounge. If you're new, my name is Sarah and I do cooking, haul videos, reviews, and cleaning on this channel. Today is my Mom Tip Monday day and I will be showing you some mom hacks here for you. I have five of them and I'm really excited for these, you guys. I think you're really gonna like them. If you missed last week's, my really good friend here on YouTube, Jessica, she did five mom hacks as well, and I'm going to be linking her above and below for you guys, as well as all the other moms that went earlier this month. Next week, you can um, look out for Mackenzie Joe's video, and I will also link her above and below, and she will be doing some more mom hacks for us. So stay tuned for that, and let's just jump right into the video. The first mom hack I have for you is Easy Peel Stickers. This is really easy, you guys. All you're gonna do is take your kids' stickers and peel off the backing. So leave the actual stickers on the paper, but like peel off the uh, insert that kind of keeps them all together like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough so that some of the sticker is showing so they can easily peel it and pick it off the paper, see? I'm gonna let my two-year-old Zoe demonstrate how easy it is to peel off the stickers now that the backing is off. The second mom hack I have for you is using command hooks in the bathroom. Command hooks in the bathroom are seriously a lifesaver and let me tell you why. When my kids were little, I used to hang their um, tub right here so that it would not, it's a mess in here, but it would not um, cloud up this area since my son was still a little older. He was taking baths in the normal bath and my daughter wasn't, so I like to hang it up. Also, now that that's over, I like to hang my knee pad here. That way it's out of the way and it can dry and then, you know, this is not gonna damage anything. These are also good for like the potties for um, the kids. Another idea is to use a command hook for the toddler potties. That way, if you have guests over, they can easily put it up or you can put it up and the toddler can easily access it when they need to. The third mom hack I have for you is easy avocado deep hit. And what you're gonna wanna do is take the other half of your avocado and you're just gonna wanna squeeze the outsides and the top kind of in just like this and it'll create a gap in between the pit and the avocado, and it just comes right out. Even with a firmer avocado, this trick still works. All right, the fourth mom hack I have for you are these dinner winter plates. And you guys, these plates are awesome, especially if you have picky eaters, so that's why I'm gonna include this as a hack. I have one picky eater who literally will not eat anything even when he asks for it, so my mom found these plates, we tried them and they worked. There's a lovely story behind them and I'm gonna do a full review for you guys very, very soon and include everything in there. But linked below are these plates. You guys, if you have a picky eater, check these plates out. I promise you it's a mom hack. All right, the last and final hack I have for you is the wrinkle-free clothes with no heat. I'm using a product called Real Simple. I found this on Growth Collaborative, the website, and I put it in my order just to try it out because I do not own an iron. So what I did is I just shook the bottle, sprayed liberally everywhere on this skirt. I only did one side so I can kind of show you a difference. And then you're just gonna shake it out and smooth it out and just let it hang dry. So it depends on the fabric, but for cotton, I let it sit for about 40 minutes. After 20 minutes, I did come and show you kind of an update, so let's check that out. Okay, so the 20 minute update is that it's still a little damp, so I'm gonna let it dry for just a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you the progress here, and if you want to see uh, how it was before, I did not do the backside, so let's look at that. And this is what it looked like before. This is the flip side and these harsh wrinkles were really bad. Okay, so this is after about 40 minutes. Now I didn't do this. So remember, this is kind of what the whole thing looked like. These really harsh creases to this, you guys. Let me just show you. Closet video coming tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. Anyway, um, but yeah, highly recommend this product. I like to use it on shirts. I, used, I like to use it on shirts like this material. It works really great, dries really fast. My husband's um, like collared shirts, stuff like that. This material works great on as well. Um, yeah, so 
and this, like this I did. So very cool. And yeah, even this one, like I'd look at, you can tell, like I didn't do like, see like that's how it all was. And then that's how it came out. And this is dry like overnight, you know, obviously it's not perfect, but hey, I don't know. I don't own an iron and this is great. Makes your clothes smell great. I don't know. I will link uh, my Grove link below. I don't know where else you can find these right now. So add it to your order or uh, sign up and start Grove. Highly recommend them. You'll save money in the end and you'll use really great products. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.